Hello and welcome back to another lesson of Educator.com Lessons on HTML 5.0. So, as you can see from the screen, what is HTML? Let's dive right in and look at the lesson overview for this lesson. Well, we're going to answer that question, okay? What is HTML? And specifically, HTML 5.0 as opposed to 4.0. We're going to go over markup tags, and we're going to go over the source code. Okay, let's dive right into the next slide. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Now, the key word here is markup language. It's the basic language of the web, readable by just about every browser there is. And the main browsers, obviously, are the ones you see below, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, we've got Safari, and then of course we've got Opera. And uh, the first three obviously are the most popular browsers there are, and we focus a lot on those. So Hypertech markup language, there's a difference between markup languages and programming languages, and we'll go over that in a little bit. but. Markup language is the basic. It's the, it's the absolute, crucial, important language that you need to understand in order to pursue a web design career. Let's go on to the next slide. Okay, and I'll go ahead and repeat myself a little bit. Again, it is a markup language, not a programming language. What is the difference between a markup language and a programming language? Pretty much, well, <laughs> pretty enormous actually. In a programming language, such as PHP, or ASP, or Java, or C++, okay? You got to go to school for quite some time, a few semesters to really fully fathom the programming language I just wrote down there. But in a nutshell, these languages use variables, syntax, math, formulas, things of that nature. Pretty much you've got to understand and have a discipline in math in the background to really understand the, uh, the coding languages that I meant, the programming languages that I just mentioned. With markup language, the key ingredient is that you have keywords surrounded by an open bracket and a closed bracket. Right here, HTML. Okay? And it normally ends with a forward slash. HTML. That's the closing bracket. Same thing with B, which stands for bold. Same thing with P, which stands for paragraph. Okay. This is the opening bracket. The closing bracket ends with a forward slash B. With paragraph, it ends with a forward slash P. Let's go to the next slide. Here it is. A better way to demonstrate it by, you see right here in this slide, okay, Here's a combination of opening tags and closing tags. Here we have bold. Here's the opening tag. Here's a closing tag. Paragraph, opening tag, closing tag. The closing tag has to have the forward sign. And HTML itself, this is normally the first line of coding. Okay, first line of coding. And down here is usually the last line of coding. Okay. And in between those two HTML tags, a whole bunch of markup language coding. Uh, other tags do not necessarily need a closing tag, like IMG, which you'll find out stands for image. And then SRC, which is an attribute, which stands for source. Okay. Image tells a browser that an image is going to be displayed. Source guides a browser to where it is located where the image is located within the browser. Okay, moving on. So I would highly recommend while you study and while we go over HTML 5.0 is take the initiative and study the source code of different websites. Now, to find the source code is pretty simple depending on the browser that you use. And all you got to basically do is look for page source. Okay, if you're using Firefox, you want to go to the tools on the top menu. You want to go to tools, web developer, and then page source. Okay, pretty simple. 
Then when you go on to the next one, which is uh, Internet Explorer, they make it a little bit easier for you. All you got to do is go to View, and then you go to Source. Okay, and a lot of times you'll open up your default uh, text editor. If you're using a PC, it could be Notepad, it could be EditPad. If you're using a Macintosh, it could be Simple Text. Whatever the default note, whatever the default uh, text editor is for your computer. And finally, the source code. Uh, to find the source code in Chrome, you basically just go to uh, View Page, you know, right click on the web page uh, and uh, View Source Code. So there is no menu for you to find the, the source code. So try to find an open spot in Chrome, right click on your mouse, and then you can go ahead and you can find the View Source Code and look at the code, study it, see what they're trying to do, follow along and you'll be able to learn HTML 5.0 in no time. And that's exactly what my intention is for, this, for these lessons. This is Jim for Educator.com.